Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and I wanted to share a few tips um, with you. Something that I really struggled with and I still struggle with half the time when it comes to exercising with a muscle disease is why, why even bother? Like I know I've had thoughts like, yeah, I'm weak. I have this muscle disease. What's the point? Like I'm not going to be able to get stronger. So why do I even bother to exercise? And then I've also had thoughts like, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to get weaker anyway. There's no point. And I already can't do this. Why, why bother trying? Why bother trying again when I know I can't do this? There's no point to it. I know I can't do this. So why? Why beat myself up? Why, why even try? Well, you know, I do still struggle with these thoughts sometimes, but I found that I feel so much better once I do exercise. And I want to share some tips to help motivate me to keep going that might motivate you as well. Even if you are someone that can't even move too much, I totally see where you're coming from. But hear me out. I might, I might change your mind. I'm hoping maybe I will because I feel like, you know, there is, there is a point to it. And it can help. So let me share my tips with you. And I brought my handy dandy whiteboard um, because I'm having fun writing on it, to be honest. Anyway, so why exercise with a muscle disease? What do you think? I'll give you five seconds. Okay. My biggest one is to maintain strength. Um, even if you only have a limited amount of strength, just try to maintain it. Uh, be as strong as you can for as long as you can. And I will get more into that probably with my next video. But this is more of an overview to help those of you that are not motivated. So moving on for your health and also weight loss. So are you someone like... Are you someone like me that has just been staying inside all the time, um, staying at home and eating a lot and you've gained like a ton of weight that I, I definitely have since March and it's not good, especially if you have a muscle disease because that, well, that could go both ways. Like you don't get more into that, but if you're too overweight, you're going to struggle with doing uh, basic things. So you want to be at a healthy weight. So exercising can help with that. And then another thing, I wrote down perseverance, which yes, you need perseverance if you have a muscle disease and you're going to exercise and that will help you. And you know what? I guess, you know, tracking your exercise and your progress could help you um, want to keep working out and it could be a huge motivator and a reason to um, continue working out and doing fitness. Okay, I understand I wrote that. And then there's other benefits that you get with the exercise, which I went into some of them briefly, which would big one, your weight loss, maintaining health for me, mental health a lot. When I'm really stressed out, I find exercise really helps me because it's like the only thing I can focus on in the moment is exercising and doing the exercises so I don't really hurt myself. So that is, that's a big one. And then also um, if I'm feeling lazy, if I go do some exercises, it'll motivate me to want to do other stuff and maybe like get my day started, especially if it's the weekend, instead of just watching TV all day. And probably the biggest one for me is maintaining strength. And the possibility that you might gain more strength is also one, but for me it, it's maintaining and that is huge. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to be, the, I just wanted this video to be a quick, overview of why to exercise and I'll go in deeper to each category in future videos. 
So thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying this so far. Feel free to join me, hit that subscribe button and have fun. Any questions, please comment and I'll see you next time.